find product links below and hundreds more videos on my channel. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I wanted to talk to you about backing up. It is very important and a lot of people don't do it. And some of the people that do do it, don't do it well enough. So I uh, back up in a few different ways. I think that it is very important to back up more than just to a uh, local drive. And so I'm going to show you the different ways that I do. I use uh, backups. And it's going to be slightly different on a Windows machine, but uh, very similar. So um, on a Mac, I have uh, SuperDuper, which is a free piece of software. And um, just uh, download the trial, which is basically a, a basic version, not really a trial. And um, looks like this, does a copy of your drive to another drive. And so I have two, I have that as an internal drive. And what that allows me to do is, uh, that second drive is bootable. And if anything happens to my main drive, I don't have to lose any work time or have any issues with not being able to work on the computer. I just boot from the second drive. And uh, so it's uh, somewhat slightly, you know, more complicated to set up, but it's still um, fairly easy to do. And um, I think it's I think it's very, very uh, valuable to do that. So um, apart from that, I'd use the Mac's own backup system, which is called uh, Time Machine. And uh, this also allows you to go back in time and get a sort of a history of files and if you've accidentally deleted a file, you can go back into specific folders um, pretty easily to find older versions of files and maybe deleted files or whatever. But I don't think I've ever done that. I just have that backing up to a, um, a drive that's sitting on my desk and uh, just as another backup solution. And then lastly, I have a crash plan, which I've found is really, really fantastic uh, backup online. And this costs uh, around $6 a month for the unlimited one, which is fantastic and it really is unlimited as far as I can see I've got a, around a terabyte on there already and um, then if I wanted to back up multiple computers I would probably go for this one which I may do at some point uh, if I wanted to back up my laptop and I used to use Live Drive but the software on it was so horrendous that uh, I just uh, stopped using it it was on multiple machines it would take up 95 percent of my uh, CPU uh, constantly so basically made the computer almost unusable and it took up tons of RAM and basically I, I either had the choice of either backing up or working and for me I have to have the backup running the entire time because I've got tons and tons of files that need to continuously go up so with the crash plan I haven't had that problem which is great it really is working really lovely so uh, basically I have this up here if I want to just quickly check how my backups going and uh, I don't really bother doing that much but you know I can do and then when I want to change settings and stuff, I go up here and I click uh, show crash plan and then this pops up and this actually allows me to uh, change what uh, folders I want to back up, which is nice and easy to do, took a, took me like a few minutes. And uh, what I did was I first uh, uploaded all my really important stuff and then once that was done, that took about a week and that was about 500 uh, gigabyte. And then now I've uh, set up additional folders, which were, you know, slightly less important stuff. A lot of um, older, you know, raw files and stuff that, uh, you know, not anything too important, but uh, that I would still like to back up. And, uh, yeah, basically it's showing here how long it's going to take. That is, you know, it's a lot of files. I've got uh, 1.7 terabyte uh, files, so it says it's going to take another 30 days, which is uh, fair enough. And I do have a fairly uh, fast uh, internet connection. And um, I found this to be fairly accurate. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, seems to work well. And then here, if I want to restore files, uh, pretty easy to do. Select what you want to restore and uh, restore it. And um, yeah, overall, this works really, really well. It has uh, settings, which Live Drive didn't. So something like this, where I can tell it how much CPU it's allowed to use. And um, you know that would have solved the issue of uh, Live Drive. And uh, LiveDrive did work, it did back up my files, but it was uh, I couldn't leave it on to continue backing up, so it was really problematic. Now, um, that's basically it. I haven't really played about with CrashPlan's settings or all this other stuff here. I uh, didn't really find that it was needed. It's just, you know, it has those options if I need them, but really, it's just a very simple uh, online backup. And I'm really happy with it so far. So, um, alright guys, thanks for watching. I will have links to everything I've mentioned below. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my other videos. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.